Hi Cancer, welcome to your September No Contact Love Tower reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Cancer, we're looking at the person you're in no contact, very little or no communication with. We're going to see what's going on with their energy. So we're going to look at possibly what caused the situation, how they're feeling about it, what are they doing right now, what could possibly shift or change. All right, for Cancer. And now if you're not really interested, then it's probably not your reading. For those watching, I hope it does resonate. And this is regardless of the circumstance situation. So we're going to get a little bit um, into that to see if um, we can figure out what happened here. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip it, switch it, reverse it. If you need to, cross watchers as well be a reading for you. So welcome in Cancer. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. I just want to say a big thank you to all your support, your likes, shares, comments, subscriptions. It does not go unnoticed. I wouldn't be here without you. And I just want to say a big, big thank you. All right, Cancer. So let's see what is going on with your person. Well, we have emotional balance here. This almost looks like the Ace of Cups. We do have a rainbow here. I mean, some it could be same sex. doesn't have to be, though. Stability, harmony, peace, and fluidity. And we have 27, which is 9, which is almost, um, you know, endings and new beginnings. Guidance, support, love, signs, direction. 47, which is 11, which could be life path, soul path energy, and ones are about new beginnings. Okay, let's see. Intelligence, 45, 9. Education, knowledge, perception, flexibility. So we got another nine. And we have responsibility. Self-discipline, empowerment, reliability, and fulfillment. And we have 20, which is two. Choices, decisions, uh, partnerships, and uh, unities. I'm kind of feeling like this person had some <sighs> issues, should I say? Maybe some addictions or um, something that they needed some sort of guidance counseling rehab whatever the case may be and you know maybe this person f didn't want to recognize it didn't want to take responsibility for it and maybe you, you know you said you know well i i can't be with you if you can't take responsibility for your issues you know whatever that may be so maybe they had some psychological issues going on addiction or uh, something they just needed counseling and therapy for due to like past situations and I feel like it played like a really big part on your connection with them and maybe you, you know you told them before you know maybe you need to go get some help and they just didn't want to acknowledge it but we do have um, responsibility here so you know maybe this person is finally finally going to do the right thing and kind of straighten themselves out so we'll see and we have that Ace of Cups here. So it could have been a newer connection. I mean, it looks like the Ace of Cups to me, but it doesn't have to be. So definitely there was, you know, love blooming here. But whatever this was that was causing the disruption between you that they refused maybe to get help for, I think it was just too much. All right. Cancer. Everything you need to know is down below. Your playlist is down there. List of readings I do here. Uh, my backup channel. So you can definitely uh, sub over there. If you lose me here, you'll find me there. All right, Cancer, so let's see what's going on. So let's see if we can get more information, like, about what caused the no communication between the two of you right now. Nine of the Pentacles. So, yeah, so definitely, that's a single energy to me. So definitely, it could have been a breakup or whatever the case may be, but definitely feeling like we're single here, making that decision. So maybe they didn't want to, you know, because this judgment card can be about life review, relationship review, healing, forgiving, releasing what needs to be released to make way for the new, big call to action, decision, uh, things that are meant to be, the universe kind of having a play on it as well, past life. So they know that they had to do a big review here of their situation, but I feel like they just chose to kind of walk off and be single. Yeah, being kind of blind to make a decision here, two of swords. Mm, interesting. All right, and that kind of popped out, so. Seven of Wands. Now this Seven of Wands are kind of like 
praying before they take action. It's kind of like praying before the battle. Seven of Wands can be about fighting for what we want or fighting. It also could be, you know, because it is about setting boundaries and um, being rigid and stern to fight what, what we want. So you have to kind of set those boundaries. Also, it can be about someone just being defensive on guard and having a wall up too. So Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this person did not want to acknowledge or see the truth for what it was, especially if you told them that. So very blocked off energy here, refusing to make a decision. When judgment is here, saying, you know, they really need to do this, but instead they're kind of off being single and kind of feeling like there's nothing wrong. So we have Scorpio energy here. So whatever this person, because um, that's what I got with guidance, stepping in up here with Response, and again, a talent just can be about learning a lot through guidance, and they need some sort of balance in their life. Knight of Cups. So, well, I maybe they have tried to come back, you know, romantically, but Eight of Pentacles. I mean, that is about putting in the work. Four of Swords. You kind of see this person lying here, which can be about counseling, guidance, therapy. But then the King of Swords and the Five of Pentacles is not really. If they've been telling you they've been going and getting you know help i don't think they've been doing it because king of swords reverse maybe not telling the truth of five of pentacles definitely is lack definitely is um i'm feeling like not really doing what they're saying and maybe they're trying to romance you but you're like you know and maybe they're maybe they're telling you they are but I, i'm not feeling like they're telling you the truth here but we do have Scorpio, Gemini. All right. So let's see. Let's see here how they're feeling. How they're feeling. What else do we need to know about how they're feeling about this whole situation for Cancer, please? Cancer. And it could be that maybe you did find out that they, you know, lied about getting help in some way. Some, it could be drinking. I mean, we do have a cup there. So, I mean, that could be an issue. Moon, yeah. So, secrets. Six of Swords in reverse. I do think they tried to come back. Six of Swords in reverse can be about somebody maybe coming back. But coming back with secrets and not uh, telling you everything. Sun. So, yeah, that's what I, what I feel. If they did try to come back... Um, I think some sort of you may have got some sort of enlightenment that um, they weren't doing what they said they were doing, Hermit in Reverse. So definitely, I feel like there's still uh, separation here. So definitely, Chariot. I'm feeling like this person, um, they're not really putting in the work that they need to do, but all they really want to do is come back to you and be back together with you. Maybe you're a source of enlightenment, healing, all those things that they need. But really, they need to do it for themselves and get the professional help that they need. But I think right now, all they're concentrating on is like coming back to you and maybe just saying what they need to say to get back with you. Because the hermit, it definitely could be single energy here. So, you know, maybe they've been thinking about it. Well, I'm just going to tell, you know, Cancer that, yeah, I did this, I did that. And that's you, Cancer, right here with the chariot. So I can be back with my Cancer. But not really doing what they said they've done but somehow i think you're going to figure that out anyway i mean we have the sun here pure enlightenment it's the happiest card but let's see we have pisces leo virgo cancer the world definitely there's a strong connection between the two of you closing out a cycle new beginnings could be traveling or distance eight of swords yeah i feel like this person's still a little bit stuck in the energy that maybe whatever whatever kind of cause this situation they're still kind of stuck stuck in that energy here death but they don't want to let go but they're not doing the work to transform either knight of pentacles so they're just kind of biding their time biding their time here kind of waiting it out but you know ten of cups is happiness joy fulfillment happy home and family but there's something raining on the parade here so there could be a lot more positive energy happiness joy between you without something dampening your connection that's definitely what i'm feeling here so let's see we have two uh we have taurus scorpio leo chris taurus scorpio all right 
All right, so let's see uh, what else are they doing? Are they, so what are they doing? So I'm, I'm not feeling like they're really, I mean, the sun is massive healing. I mean, it could be, maybe they're trying to do it on their own, but I don't know. Let's see, what else are they doing right now? Cancer, what else are they doing right now? I mean, the hermit can be a wise counselor. There's that Ten of Cups again. So there's still something that's going to damper the happiness of your connection. And we do have like the rain coming down, which I'm getting could be drinking or something like that. Star is the massive healing. Ten of Swords. Again, not wanting to end, not wanting the situation with you to end. Temperance in reverse. So there's still an imbalance here. Empress. They definitely see you as an empress. But with this imbalance here with the temperance, you know, and they could be running out of patience. But there's still something about them that is not balanced. Ten of Swords is like they don't just don't want it to be over. I mean, the star is massive healing. Hmm. I'm not really feeling like they're doing the work. Maybe they, they started to. So maybe they said, oh, yeah, I, I went and enrolled to get counseling, therapy, rehab, whatever. And maybe they just did it for a little bit and then that was it feeling like, oh, that was enough. I didn't really do the whole spectrum of what, what I was supposed to do, but I think I did enough and I'm okay. No, it's not okay because I, I'm feeling like this person could relapse, um, but they feel like they've done enough to be by, like, to, to get in your good graces is what I'm saying here. Mm. They're not feeling fulfilled without you, that is for sure. But let's see, we have Aquarius, Sag, um, Libra, Taurus. All right, let's see. Magician. This is about the new beginnings here, but the Five of Swords. So they're being a little manipulative or they're being a little deceiving about, you know, saying what they've said they've done when they didn't really do all the work, but they're just wanting to get back on your good graces here. Hang man. So they don't like the pause and the stagnation right now, especially if you're not communicating to them. Um, uh, somebody's drinking here. I mean, I'm just saying it doesn't have to be for everybody. So if you're wondering if they're still got the issue, I would say yes. Maybe not as much. Maybe they've lightened up whatever they were doing. But I still think there's an issue here. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have Pisces, Pisces, and Gemini, Libra. All right. Let's see. No, Gemini, Virgo, the magician. What am I saying? Okay. I'm looking at the Empress. All right, so let's see. Uh... What else is going to happen here? Are they really going to take responsibility? Well, you do have guidance and responsibility there. I mean, let's see. I mean, they may just get the wake-up call and realize, you know, if I don't put in 100% of the work, I'm never going to get back into Cancer's good graces and, you know, Page of Swords. Well, that could be getting the clarity they need here. Five of Pentacles. They're definitely feeling lonely and lack. But death reversed here. Ace of Pentacles, solid new beginning. Two of Pentacles. So there's still a lot of things up in the air for them. They're still juggling around if it was an addiction or something like that. But they do want to invest, whether it's in themselves or they definitely want to be long-term energy with you. They definitely don't want it to be over, but there's still a problem going on here with the Five of uh, Pentacles. And that also can indicate the separation as well. Page of Swords. I mean, they could be... You know, maybe if they came back and said, oh, you know, it, maybe you've gone into no communication more than once. So if you're wondering, well, why do you keep saying that when this was supposed to be no communication? I feel like this could be maybe the second round of no communication or something like that. And maybe they, you know, they came back and said, oh, yeah, I, you know, I'm fine. But they didn't do the whole process. And now maybe this time they're realizing, you know, I really got to put 100% effort in. Page of Swords can be by getting truth, clarity, communication, maybe getting that help. Uh, they could be spying on your social media as well. So do we have Aquarius Scorpio? I'm not really feeling like they're like 100% putting in the work yet because they're still juggling something around, which could be that addiction or the Im that is imbalanced. So there's still something not balanced here for them. Nine Swords, stress, fear, worry, anxiety. Something is still bothering them. Four of Swords, I mean, it does look like somebody getting help. 
and putting in the work, Eight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups, Queen of Swords. So maybe there's a chance here that they could. I mean, we do have the Queen of Swords, which could be a counselor, therapist, or whatever. Someone of uh, expertise, Knight of Cups. They still want to romance you. They still want to be in a relationship with you. King of Pentacles can be, you know, marriage. They want maybe want to marry you. But that's usually a stable, grounded, loyal, trustworthy kind of person. So they may just get the wake-up call. You look, you know, I got to straighten this out and actually do it, or otherwise I'll never have my cancer ever again. I mean, they could be really waking up to this. I'm not surprised we have that we haven't seen the tower. So I have Virgo, Scorpio, Libra. All right. So, oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> the Ace of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune want to pop out here. So there definitely it was big love blooming here. I mean, we got like the two Ace of Cups here and the Wheel of Fortune is, you know, positive movement forward fate and destiny so it could be that their love for you just over powers their addiction you know justice could be doing the right thing and that could be you know getting the legal expertise that they need universal law and order true clarity justice balance getting what we deserve you know writings of wrongs soul contracts past lives three of cups in reverse definitely is not a happy time for them right now especially if there's someone that like to go out and party and um, I want to say party, but just go out maybe with friends and do things maybe they shouldn't have done, been doing. Let's see. Let's get one more. Four of Swords. Well, we're ending on the Four of Swords, which could be somebody getting the help that they need. That's the healing. You see someone like laying, um, you know, you can get therapy, laying on the couch, whatever. So I think they may decide, you know, realize that they really need to do this. They're not going to be happy about it, but they realize that they have to or they, they have no choice. If they want things to go in their favor, they have to put the work in. Sag, Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio, Libra, the world, again, so they could be at a distance. Endings and new beginnings. Again, it could be maybe checking in your social media. Eight of Swords. Again, there's that energy of being stuck. Page of Wands, communication, stuck again, hangman, high priestess. So I think... Um, you know, it probably is best to stay in no communication mode until they, you know for sure they've really put all the work in to overcome this and that it's not going to affect your um, relationship going further. But there is that connection here. They may be actually going away, like to a retreat or someplace um, for the counseling, the therapy, rehab, whatever. We've got two cards of Pisces here in Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio. All right, so have ten of pentacles on the top of the deck which could be long-term commitment so let's see uh libra uh season's coming up at the end of the month so things could be turning around by the end of the month all right cancer so let's see what this deck has to offer this did resonate or you like this please do like share subscribe comment hit the bell any support given is truly appreciated and i thank you and again everything you need is below all right, Cancer, so let's see what this deck has to offer you, advice, guidance, or anything else you need to know about the situation. Let's see. And we do have masculine feminine energy here with the moon and the um, sun. So, Our Lady of the Interior Life. I trust the answers I find within me. I know that the presence of love is real. So you know that there is love here. And it's like knowing that there's a better life you know, for the two of you, but knowing, um, I trust the answers I find within me. So, yeah. The goddess of magic, sexual energy is sacred. My pleasure is a prayer that brings me back to life. So you could have very intense chemistry with this person. The Divine Mother, unconditional love exists within me. The presence of love is the absence of judgment. I do feel like there's a lot of unconditional love, but I mean, only to a certain extent. I mean, it's okay to accept people unconditionally, but not if it's something like really detrimental to your connection, like addictions and abuse and stuff like that. The First Woman, I am the voice of my body and soul. I choose the life that I desire to live. So, so this person has to make the choice. 
if they want, and I felt that, if they desire this life with you, they have to make the choice to put the work in to themselves. The essence of all Buddhas. I have the power to make each moment sacred. Everything is material for my liberation. Wow, so this person could be liberating themselves from whatever this is, which is actually a good thing. But I think this took a couple go-arounds at least before they finally, finally you know, into this, it could be two, three times of no communication, cutting it off before they actually do the work and come back um, liberated. So that's actually a good thing. All right, Cancer, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonate. Again, everything you need to know is down below. I am wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.